The president's budget proposal eliminates public media funding. Learn how you can help at lptv.org action. For many in the community, grabbing a hot meal isn't always so easy. Armel Meyer shows us how a lunch to benefit the North Country Food Bank helped others in need fill up their bowls. Oh yeah, that one's cute. The Empty Bowls event held at the Bemidji Eagles Club will help raise money for the food bank in Crookston. But the organization's reach spans far beyond the city limits. We serve 21 counties in northwest and west central Minnesota, including Beltrami County. About 18 different organizations in Bemidji alone receive food from the food bank. This is one of our uh, greater need areas of our 21 counties. There is a higher rate of food insecurity here. With each ticket sold, community members were able to get a hearty soup bowl and a bowl to keep for themselves. Take it home and have a, you know, sort of a reminder of the event or a reminder of hungry people in the community. Some spent a few more dollars for the chance to win an extra one. I love the chilling with my peeps bowl, hoping for that, but um, they're all just really pretty, so see which one I can get, hopefully. The food bank gave the bowl supplies to St. Philip's School for the third, fourth, and fifth graders to create the designs. While Hannah was happy to help others out, she wasn't quite ready to let go of hers yet. I think I might be going home with my bowl today. There were plenty of others to go around, and some had a tough time picking one out. I picked out several bowls, actually, um, and they had a really nice variety and a lot of different styles, and then I found the one that I thought I really liked the best. For every dollar raised during today's event, the food bank will be able to provide five meals for those in need. In Bemidji, I'm Mel Meyer, Lakeland News. The North Country Food Bank distributed more than 7 million pounds of food last year. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.